Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Um, what karma are they facing? So this was per request from a viewer. So I thought this is uh, something fun and different that I should try out. See if you guys like it. Um, this is a, uh, so this reading is going to be for the zodiac sign of Taurus. Um, so this is an individual that you are no longer dealing with. This could be an ex, this could be a friend, a family member, or a co-worker. So we are going to take a look to see what they did to you recently or in the past. And then we'll finish off the read with um, what karma they're currently facing or will face. Um, so yeah, so before we get started, um, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing another giveaway where I will choose two winners for a one hour personal reading with me. Um, so the way that you enter this giveaway is by hitting the subscription button, the notification bell, um, giving this video a thumbs up, um, leaving a comment in the comment section below with the hashtag 10k. Once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I will uh, choose two winners and make the announcement on the community tab. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and uh, the notification bell, uh, the, no the notification is turned on. So you get notified when I uh, announce the winners. Uh, once I announce the winners, uh, the winners could either leave their email address in the comments section below so I can reach out to you to set, set up the personal readings. Or um, if you're uncomfortable doing that, you could feel free to email me. I will leave my email address in the post. Um, and those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, so let's get started here. Tell me about Taurus's person. What did a Taurus's person do to Taurus recently or in the past here? what Taurus's person recently did to Taurus or in the past? What did he do to them recently or in the past here? What did Taurus's person do to Taurus? All right, let's see. Six of Cups here. All right, we have the Seven of Wands, King of Cups, Scorpio Energy, Cancer, Pisces, the Sun, Leo Energy, the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Star, Aquarius Energy. You know, we have this past energy here. You know, I'm feeling like someone here, feeling like this king, you were probably married to this individual. Yeah, you had a Ten of Cups, you had the Ten of Pentacles, you were happy with this person, but I feel like this king was in love with a past person here, with an ex. And I feel like this person left you for an ex, even though you had it all. So let's just get some more messages just to see. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. It seems as though, you know, this King of Cups could have come together with you, you know, to build a life together. But at the same time, there was an energy of maybe, you know, sort of like wanting this and pushing it away at the same time because this person was still thinking about an ex. This person is still in love with an ex. This person probably wanted this ten of, ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles with this ex. All right, tell me about this uh, Seven of Wands here. What's going on with the Seven of Wands? All right, let's see. Oh. Seven of 
one seven of swords yeah this person was never really honest to themselves yeah this person was never honest to themselves instead they pushed it away or swept it under the rug but eventually it catches up to you if you do that I mean, when you're not honest with yourself, people will also pick up on that too. Yeah. Tell, tell me about the King of Cups. So I feel like he knew, Taurus. King of Cups, uh, Queen of Pentacles here. So this person could have been thinking about another Earth sign here. Perhaps Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Could be Capricorn, Virgo, or uh, Taurus too. Did I say Cap another Capricorn? This is a this is for Taurus, perhaps another Taurus. Um, tell me about the sun, but it could be any Earth sign. All right, we have the um, Empress and the um, with the Sun card. So Taurus, Libra energy. So this is you here, Taurus. I I feel. All right, tell me about the Ten of Cups. You have the Four of Pentacles. It seems like there was, I feel like you guys were married, but at the same time, someone was not giving all their cups. Someone was not giving all their pentacles. I feel like someone was thinking about someone else. I'm getting three energies here. So, you know, I'm feeling this King of Cups is the person that you were dealing with. And then there was a queen of pentacles involved and an empress. L let me get some more messages. Tell me about the 10 of pentacles. You have the three of pentacles. Okay, tell me about the star and the fool. You have the seven of cups on the bottom of the deck. I'm feeling like this King of Cups probably had it all with this Empress. But at the same time, I feel like they were not giving all their cups and all their pentacles. I feel like some of the pentacles were going elsewhere. And perhaps it's this Queen of Pentacles here. It just seems like, yeah, with the Seven of Swords, you know, the whole lying, deception thing, I, f I, I feel like this person, like, physically got up and left and ran away. You know, the Seven of Swords could also mean that, you know, you're, you're running away from something uh, to protect yourself from something. Or Yeah, uh, I, I don't think this is protection or anything like that. I just feel like it was one of those things like, oh, I'm still thinking about an ex, still in love with an ex, I just want to get up and leave. Um, I can't really fully commit to this or something like that, or like, I don't want to give up all my cups. Um, but it, it seems like, yeah, look, it seems like someone went off to have a new beginning here with an ex. Yeah, so. Yeah, you have the seven of cups here. So this, this whole connection here was a bit of an illusion. Um... This person could have came in very caring, very loving, but at the same time, it seemed like the person wasn't re really willing to give up some cups, uh, not, not all their cups, maybe just a few, their pentacles also, seven of wands, seven of swords, king of cups, queen of pentacles. We have the empress here, clarifying the sun, four of pentacles, clarifying the ten of cups. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles being clarified by the Three of Pentacles, the Star being clarified by the Fool. All right, Cap. I keep saying Capricorn. I, I It's because I just did Capricorn. Uh, Taurus. My bad, Taurus. If I said Capricorn, it's for Taurus. Um, sometimes when you're doing a lot of readings, you know, you tend to mix up the signs. It happens. So it's Taurus. Taurus. All right. Tell me um, more about Taurus's person. Um, what What is the karma that they're currently facing or will face for the rest of May and onward? Tell me more about Taurus's person. What karma are they currently facing? 
what karma will they face from now for the rest of May and onward here? That was a bad shuffle. Let's get one more. Great, we have the King of Swords. King of Swords here. We have the Knight of Cups. We got the Six of Cups. Okay. Oh, oh my. So I, I'm feeling like this King of Cups went with this Queen of Pentacles. Things are not working out now. And now I feel like they're trying to come back to you. All right, Two of Pentacles. So um, this King is juggling here, um, Emperor. Okay, so we have an emperor to an emperor, so we have a true pair. So I, I'm feeling like this emperor is this king, and then this empress, um, I feel like it's you, um, Taurus. But, you know, the roles could be flipped, so place yourself where you see fit, take it as it resonates. Maybe this is what you're experiencing now. Or this is your person that uh, experiences seeing this, okay? Ten of Cups. And then the King of Pentacles. Okay, so we have another pair here. Okay. Hmm. So we have the King to the Queen of Pentacles. We have an Emperor to the Empress. So this King of Cups is an outside person. So either like this King of Cups could be married to this Queen. All right, let me just gather my thoughts together here. Because we have a King of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, we have an Empress and Empress, and then we have a King of Cups. This is someone else. All right. So what I'm feeling now is that this Empress had it all with this Emperor. And what happened was that this Empress left this Emperor for a King of Cups. This is the X. Yeah. So now this Empress and this King of Cups is not working out. And now this Empress wants to go back to this Emperor. So this Empress is essentially juggling this King of Cups and this Emperor here. Uh, and then you have a King of Swords here too. All right, so let's get some more messages just to see what's going on. Yeah, someone left and left for an ex. Now they want to come back to an ex. All right. Something like out of a soap opera or a telenovela or a TV show. I mean, you see this stuff on TV, but this actually, I guess, it, it yeah, it does happen in real life. Quite mind blowing. Tell me about this uh, Knight of Cups. All right, Page of Swords. Tell me about this. Yeah, I'm feeling like this Empress wants to communicate to this Emperor. Yeah, I feel like this emperor, I feel like this empress is going to come back and say, you know, I'm sorry, whatever happened with this king of cups didn't work out. I want another chance. Tell me about the six of cups. You have the two of cups here. There is a soulmate connection here between this empress and this um, emperor. I mean, we have the king to the queen of pentacles too, so this is a strong soul tie. Tell me about the two of pentacles. All right, we have the lovers here. Someone still has a decision to make here. Now I feel like, you know, this empress has an ex as an option, and then, you know, and this emperor as an option. Two, basically, essentially two exes now. 
but it seemed like this empress had it all with this emperor, but was thinking about an ex. They're still in love with an ex. Tell me about this emperor. All right, you got the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this emperor is moving on. But uh, at the same time with this Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this empress is coming back around. Uh, tell me about the Ten of Cups. Queen of Wands. Oh. Oh, this empress played herself. I feel like this emperor found someone else. <laughs> when this empress went with this king of cups, this, I mean, uh, this emperor found someone else. Um, I think this emperor is happily married with this queen of wands, to be quite honest. Tell me about this king of pentacles. You have the knight of wands here. Yeah, it just seems like after perhaps this empress left, this emperor or slash king of pentacles went and, you know, started dating around and found someone fun and, and perhaps got married to them. Um, yeah, someone's moving on. Someone's just moving on from the antics uh, of this empress. So, um, yeah, it just seems as though, uh, yeah, empress was with an emperor, Empress was thinking about an ex, left this emperor, went to an ex, which is this King of Cups. Things didn't work out with this King of Cups. Now this Empress wants to come back to this emperor, the ex, more recent current ex, I feel. And uh, yeah, now, now, the, now this person, this emperor is married to someone else. Lovely how that plays out. Um, so, so... You know, there is more than one energy here, Taurus, so just place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates, because there is more than one person. The roles could be flipped in reverse, especially when more than one energy comes up. <clears throat> Knight of Cups, Page of Swords, Six of Cups, Two of Cups. Um, two of Pentacles, the Lovers, the uh, Emperor, the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the Ten of Cups being clarified by the Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles being clarified by the Knight of Wands. All right. So Taurus, this is your general reading. What karma are they facing? Um, if this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.